Hey bud, today we are going to do a studio tour. This is something people are always asking for. I haven't done one in several years and quite a bit has changed around here since the last time I did one of these. This is of course a mixed use space for me. I use it not only to craft and build and do my various forms of art, I also use this space to record, edit, and produce YouTube videos and essentially run my whole business. And I'm gonna be showing everything in here that is related to both of those tasks because I know some of you are interested in one or the other and many are interested in both. So let's take a look. People wonder where my studio is and it's actually attached to my house. Oh, hi Grinch, come on in. In what was once an attached garage but is now the Blackmagic Creative Headquarters. First thing in the room when you walk in is an air purifier and a very high CFM exhaust fan that goes right outside. This connects to my spray booth and I have a video where I built this if you wanna check that out. My spray booth is where I like to put all the cool stickers that I collect and get from various people. Got a little collection of airbrushes, acrylic inks because I like to use those a lot when airbrushing. The Army Painter air paints, which I really like because they don't need much thinning and they're pretty easy to use for a person like me. Here's a fun tip if you use a bunch of cutting mats, but you don't want to have them all on the table at the same time, just hang them on the wall. Go behind the door, perfect. And then over here, we have the 3D printing area. I'm running two frozen machines, uh, the, the Mighty and the Mini. I got a wash slash cure station that I just used for washing. Uh, and then I use a smaller Anycubic for curing. This is a shelf with some of the stuff that you know I need on hand as I'm doing this process. Got rubber gloves ready to go here, some alcohol, very handy paper towel on the wall. When you're doing everything in one small space, you gotta put things wherever they can fit. So under the 3D printing is my business files. And right beside the spray booth is my editing desk slash uh, supply storage. <laughs> so this is the computer that I use for editing videos with a pretty absurd monitor with linear based editing. I like to have lots of room and I like to be able to do lots of different tasks at once. Here's a video I'm working on right now. I use a really nice audio interface for editing. Um, that goes to a nice Shure microphone and some studio monitors that are mounted up on these cabinets. And on each side, I have two important pieces of equipment for crafting and business. One is a very nice inkjet printer. This is an EcoTank 8550. And I love this thing. It's really, really good. I can print really large format, high color, professional quality stuff on it. And I can cut it on my Cricut, which I like very much. Below here, I just have some random supplies, some hard drives, laser printer, because you don't want to print documents on that one and waste ink. Up top, bins of different materials. Here's like all like basing kind of stuff, glue sculpting stuff. This is just various bits and wood pieces in this one. Now these are Ikea kitchen cabinets that I just customized to work as a desk. Top drawer has all the stuff I kind of need handy, little hand tools and stuff. Uh, this is my favorite drawer, look at this. How sweet is that? My uh, painting racks that I used to have on the wall fit perfectly inside here. Um, more mini painting related things, craft paint, flat paper kind of stuff, and just general toolage. Right beside that, I have my shelves that uh, hold all my finished work, but some of this area is used for tools. So I got like just these buckets, glue, brushes, paint brushes, oil paints, oil paint related things, alcohol ink, glue sticks, more basing material. Let's take a brief moment to admire my sick plaid shirt. This comes from my friends and the sponsors of this video, 
into the AM. They make ultra comfy, really good quality shirts and other clothing and accessories. They are most known for their graphic tees. They always got sick new designs coming out, but they've also got things like sweatpants, hoodies, and now flannels. And I love their flannels. They are top notch, super good. They also got just like basic plain tees, which I highly recommend for simple wardrobe additions. You can get them in really great packs for a good price. Between their generic shirts, their plaids, their sportswear, like their hoodies and sweatpants and joggers and all that, and of course their graphic tees, there's something for everyone. And it's a really great way to spiff up your wardrobe or maybe spiff up the wardrobe of a loved one who needs a little bit of help. And of course I got you covered so you can save a little bit more money. If you use the link in my description, you can get an extra 10% off your entire order. So when you head over to Into the AM to get some sick new shirts, make sure to use that link. And then over here is the rest of my supplies that are hidden behind this epic Idols of Torment banner. I actually really need to get doors for this because this is super annoying to, <laughs> to do. One day I'll get doors. But in here I have all these clear bins. This is mostly miniatures and bits. Uh, as well as some general supplies like glue and modeling compound, mixing cups. Here, more bits and models, my collection of gamer grass, tufts and laser cut plants, which I love, some foam, Proxon jigs and MDF. Proxon sits up there and in the middle, just a whole bunch of, you know, general camera supply sort of things. This is a scene that you might see fairly often in videos. This is my crafting desk. And this is a rig I put together. It's kind of like a all-in-one sort of deal. I previously, in the past, had stuff mounted to the ceiling, but that meant that my desk had to be positioned in a certain way and I couldn't move it around. With this rig on my desk, it means that I can move this desk and things like the camera right here are always looking at the same thing on the desk. I've got side and top lights, uh, an arm for a secondary camera, my mix pre that I use to record a very nice Sennheiser microphone. This is what I use for my talking head bits. I really enjoy this launch control. Yeah, this is really great because I can move this around. The table is actually just an Ikea workbench or desk. I can't remember exactly what they call it. And I use two of these. They're really nice size. One I keep open for actually playing some games on or just putting stuff when I need it out of the way but these tables can be moved together to make a larger one to play if needed. And here's just some of my background stuff. I got my collection of vintage D&D &D books and, and box sets, which I really love. And then just all the books from the games that I'm actually interested in or that I am playing or have played. Of course, Idols of Torment stuff. Check this out, this is pretty neat. This is an advanced Dungeons and Dragons in television video game, which I love. Got my boy Scotty's Easy D6 there. Uh, this is a game that I just picked up at Adepticon called Don't Look Back, which I'm really excited about. It's really like horror movie themed and the minis come in these VHS clamshells. The measuring gauge is a friggin' knife. How cool is that? I also got this cauldron game, which looks cool. Gonna dig into that soon. Yeah, and just all the other games that I've collected over the years. I also have some box sets here. Of course, the vintage Hero Quest. This was a wonderful gift from a subscriber years ago, and I'm still very thankful for it because it's complete and in really nice condition. I got Dungeon, which has one of my favorite bits of vintage D&D art ever. And then Dragon Strike, which was like a weird VHS game, uh, which I really wanna play at some point. We're gonna make a day of this eventually. I have this big pull down curtain that I can use if I just need a quick black backdrop. 
and tuck it away into the ceiling. That is literally just a black blind that I ordered online, nothing fancy. As you can see, there's lots of lighting in this place. That one's on an arm, I can move it as needed. This is the main big epic blind you like the sunlight. Got a backlight there, so I have some lighting coming behind me when I'm sitting and painting. And then these, which I can just use to light up the shelves. I use different colored gels on them. Give me whatever kind of ambient lighting I need. And this is where I keep finished stuff that I actually want to keep. Some of my cyberpunk stuff, deserty stuff, my Death Guard and Nurgle miniatures that I've never actually really used because I don't play Warhammer. <laughs> really great piece of Idols of Torment terrain. And then yeah, all my Idols of Torment stuff. Well, I shouldn't say all of it because a lot of it is in those bins. That's why there's missing spots because those became travel stuff for demo games. But I have all the minis that I painted for the game and the classic terrain, my swamp set that I made a few years ago that I really like. And here I just keep all of my foam buildings that I've made over the years. Hey look, there's a Scott, the miniature maniac. Oh wait, and then, and then there's a me. I forgot about that. My Frostgrave minis and then all my Dungeons and Dragons minis. Speaking of mini stuff, I also keep like a lot of stuff in bins. You know, little things, don't need them all the time. Keep them in these bins on the bottom shelves. And here we got some Magic the Gathering decks that I don't really use because I don't play anymore, but I wish I did. And then uh, some of my dioramas. These are some of my favorite little things that I've built. And that just about covers everything in this room. I don't know if there's maybe something I missed or didn't show in detail enough, but if you got questions, put them below and I'll answer as best as I can. I uh, hope you enjoyed watching this little video tour, getting to step into my special place, my private creative zone where the black magic happens, so to speak. Oh, that is such a cringe thing to say. <laughs> hope you liked the video, hit the like button, hit subscribe, share with your friends. If you want to pick up some tools or supplies for your own hobby needs, don't forget to check out blackmagiccraft.ca. I got my essential equipment page there where you can buy all the stuff you need for your hobby and financially support the channel in the process by using those affiliate links. Also, if you really like these videos that I make, the best way you can support me is on Patreon. I'd love to have you as the newest member of the Black Magic Craft Fellowship. That's it for this video. I will see you again next time. Cheers.